the spirits can be felt anywhere instead of yeah. and it's not even going yeah. into the rocks or anything like that because I work with the ancestors and I know where where my where I can feel them in that I walked a spiritual path in life and uh, I have given myself to to the high, higher power creator mother earth and the ancestors to walk with them each and every day and do the work yeah. that I've been asked to do so uh, I know what you're talking about I'm just going there as bare bones and going and experiencing what it is I need to experience and uh, do my offerings over there for the ancestors and that. It's another experience in my life of moving forward and that and helping out where I need to and uh, where my ancestors have walked in their lifetime and walking the path where they, they once walked. Ekarendiondi means where there is a point of rocks which projects or stands out in the Huron Wundat language. The pathway to the village of the souls, or the afterlife, was marked by Ekarendiondi, which stands in the land that was inhabited by the first peoples of what today is known as the Blue Mountain region. In their own divine time, they will get to the place where they are going to have their own comfort zone in that, you know, their own understanding of everything. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, absolutely. Because we don't know everything, you know. We need to, we need to feed from some other places and uh, get that one thing that we may be searching for in that too, in our personal lives, that to move forward with with your own self. Yeah. 
it's always good to to receive all those blessings out there that we need to help us grow each and every day and we will till the day we die.